Hello, ladies, gents, and creepy, faceless wizards chasing young children. We're going to do some Anominal today, a game I received for free. I am biased toward being positive. It's only four bucks. I could have afforded it. But if I had not received the email telling me about it, I would have never found out about this game because it has like four reviews on, on Steam. And it is a little bit of a tragedy because it's actually really, really good. The short pitch I got for you is, oops, oops, restart that. Short pitch I got for you is if you like Celeste, you're going to enjoy playing this video game. It's just going through the levels, doing the platforming. And the cool little gimmick that it has for itself is twofold. I have failed miserably. Twofold. You control the fella with your left hand is on the directionals, your right hand is on the mouse. Oh. There you go. And you teleport when you have the crystals. You see the top left corner that shows how many crystals you have collected. That will show you how many teleports you can do. That's with the right mouse button, and you'll teleport. This is the range of it. There you go. That's uh, this as far as you can go. So, you know, it's a very short range teleport. It's a blink. Yeah. And then with the left mouse button, you basically attack and um, do either destroy barriers. You get rid of just annoyances in the middle. And this is a game, like, clearly it starts, you know, very tutorially slowly ramps up the complexity that you must deal with. This is a game that demands some insane coordination. It has challenged my hand-eye coordination something fierce. I failed miserably. It has challenged my hand-eye coordination enormously. So much more than your usual platforming. Like Celeste will challenge you on usual controls, but because of the control scheme, this challenges your hand-eye coordination. It, oh, I need to actually reach that, reach that crystal and teleport immediately. That is the, the way that I gotta do that. And then, there you go, click immediately when you pick it up, that way you teleport right up there. Because of the control scheme, it challenges your ability the same way that an FPS would. And it's weird as hell. It is, it feels so different. It is still, you know, side scroller plat puzzle, puzzle platformer with a few gimmicks, but because of the control scheme, it feels so different to the standard fare. Really makes it stand out just in the experience, like how it feels to play it. It is so much different than your usual puzzle platformer. I have reached deep into chat. Oh my goodness, this is awful. <laughs> I've reached deep into chapter three. I think each chapter has, I think it's 20 levels. Give me that teleporter, oh, bitch. There you go. That was not complicated whatsoever. We're going to play a few of the starter levels. And then, we are going to jump forward. We can see a few more advanced mechanics. Yeah! Didn't do it. See how you had to actually be fast with your mouse pointer? Wonder if, I have not tried, but wonder if it has a twin stick control scheme too, or is exclusively mouse and keyboard. I don't know about that. I don't care because I am a boomer that only uses keyboards. Yeah. yeah. That was absolutely atrocious. Anyway, these are like the tutorial levels. It starts really uh, simple. Let's complete this one. And then we can skip to somewhere in the middle of chapter two. And you can see how it really ramps up the difficulty to the point that by the end of where I'm at right now, which I am literally stuck. I'll show you the level that I'm stuck on. It, it asks too much concentration, not concentration, but coordination out of me. I am incapable. Oh, that was terrible. Let me do, uh, restart that nonsense. I am incapable of performing the motions 
with my current brain setup. I need to get a brain transplant. It's weird because that's the kind of advice my wife will give me every day. I need to get a brain transplant, some kind of cognition upgrade because this old body just cannot do it. There you go. Uh, only one teleport. I think I did this wrong. No, okay, okay. You gotta grab the teleport and then you move on to the next area. That's the thing with with um, the levels as you progress. They get... You start needing to think really outside of your norm. Please, please, I cannot... There you go. I need to shoot first. You know, this is shooting left mouse. There you go. I need to shoot first, then teleport. But, you know, kind of a requirement to pick up the crystal. And you see, this is one of those uh, games where you're like, oh, one more level, one more level. I tried it out last night. I was like, okay, let me let me see what this game is all about. I've really been enjoying the symbiotic relationship of getting a very obscure game on my inbox. Asking for coverage. And I... Ugh, I just teleported down here instead of on top of the barrier. Uh, asking for coverage and I go on YouTube and it's like, there are like literally zero videos on this video game. And I try it and it's like, this game like is not going to revolutionate the gaming landscape, but it's actually a really neat game. And it's it just uh, rubs me the wrong way how it, it, like, it's a small tragedy, the way that it is getting no recognition whatsoever. It's like, it's it's a really neat game. Of course, it's a genre that is pretty saturated. I understand. Uh, I, too, I am slightly j jaded where it comes to puzzle platformers, you know, but it is just good. It's a good game. I don't know if it's, like, the first attempt of the developer. I kind of make it a point not to even look into the developer because that creates personal biases when you're trying to uh, evaluate a video game on their merits. There you go. Uh, so I don't know, it feels, you know, it has that feel of solo developer, two team, two, two person team, that kind of vibe. Anyway, let's complete this level and we can check out chapter two, what that's required. There are other small gimmicks that show up. Uh, let me just go to level select right here. Chapter 2, let's go to level, I don't know, level 10, I don't know what it looks like, I, I forget what these levels looks like, I hated this level, let's, uh, let's, uh, <laughs> let me pick a different level because I have a vague memory of hating that level, something fierce. This chapter introduces the platforms that disappear once you step on them, or right, once you jump off them. That's right, this level was a nightmare great job well done here's my really the only piece of legit advice or constructive criticism i got for you please uh introduce a timer every one of these levels should have a timer in the sense of don't time me and tell me to finish in a certain amount of time no 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 you know a celeste speedrun type of timer where you beat the level and then you challenge yourself to see whether you can beat it faster. I'm very good at beating, beating it really, really fast. I'd like to see whether you're faster than me at beating it. Let's see. Uh, oh, there you go. Oh, I completed the level. All right. Anyway, it, you know, introduces little gimmicks like this. It's a few other mechanics. As you progress, this will be doing something like this, maybe? Yeah. I did this already. I will show you soon when I'm stuck. Stuck. Oh, that's my mistake, wasn't it? No, I don't think so. Huzzah! There you go. All right. Anyway, we are. Uh... That's very stressful. Uh, all right. Let me. Uh... I'm going to show you where I'm stuck. Stuck. Level 15. Let's start on level 14. This is like the current level of progression. This is. This was such a challenge to get through. 
hopefully we can uh, pull it off on camera so I can I can um, actually show you what I'm actually stuck already failing miserably but you know this is four dollars on Steam right now it may change don't like quote me it may change but right now it's a dirt cheap game and for what it offers, I don't know how many chapters it's got. I don't know how many levels it keeps going forward. It, chapter 3 may be last. So, you know, beware. But even for what I've gotten, which is about two hours, it's like $4 for two hours. I'll take that deal anytime for $4 for two hours of good, fun entertainment. Like, I, I was fully engaged there you go that's what i was attempting to do all this time i was fully engaged for those two hours just first you know breezing through those tutorial levels and then struggling mightily with the really weird and uh, novel control scheme <sighs> it's possible it's possible don't worry about it oh no wait that one you're supposed to teleport that's right my experience having uh, to go through that gauntlet. Yeah, there. You gotta do something like this. Ooh, yeah. Check me out, check me out. Yeah. And this is the super challenging jump. Let's see if I can pull it off on the first try. Every time I get too damn close to them spikes. So now that I have basically, you know, that's this something that I really appreciate about small contained indie games like this. They are like, you get them immediately. You get them, what they're about. You know whether you're going to enjoy them. That was terrible. You know whether you're going to enjoy them or not. And they always have a way of challenging you in a novel way. It's really cool. Eee? Oh! Alright, alright, we can do this. Fail. Fail terribly. I wanna... I wanna... beat the last level so I can at least show off a little bit of skill and that way when I fail miserably in the next one that I'm stuck at and I hopefully can reach the point where I'm stuck, stuck at it won't be so humiliating. And maybe I can even motivate you to go into the game and see if you can beat what I cannot. Because holy crap, it just, the level of hand-eye coordination that it demands, uh, I don't think I can achieve it. <sighs> I'll let you be the judge once we reach it. If I fail miserably a few more times, I'll just switch the level to that one, so you can see uh, basically my my skill ceiling, where hand-eye coordination is concerned. All right, all right. Ah! Let me show you. Let me show you when I'm stuck. It is a nightmare. This part right here, it took me forever. It took me forever to be slightly consistent. It broke my brain so hard to just to figure out the, that sequence of jumps. This jump is also a nightmare that I have become slightly consistent at. This one looks bad, but it's really not bad. And here's the spot. Here's the spot. I don't even know exactly what I'm supposed to do. What I've been assuming is I need to activate the block. I need to grab the teleport, like, you know, quickly jump over as I, it's going up, then make it back here, activate that zoomer that goes up, and then teleport onto the platform. And then probably I have to follow the the the, the moving block. <laughs> it's just so uncoordinated. It's, there's something about it. My brain, my brain says, I can't, I can't do it. Short circuit, you are not capable. <laughs> I can't, 
uh, possibly coordinate these many commands with the with the two hands at the same time. And uh, I will be genuinely impressed with your ability if you are able to do it because I really cannot. I cannot. I have tried so much. I was trying. I think for a 30 minutes straight, I was trying to pull that off. And you know, I do fail now and then to get there, so it adds to the frustration of last night. But uh, what just happened is, it was actually my best attempt being able to grab the teleport and then get back onto the block. I had not achieved that before. So, you know, I think progression can be made. I think I can, in fact, maybe pull this off. So, now that we have spoken about all the positives, we can also just bring a little bit of constructive criticism. It is not really all that variety, right? All the backgrounds are the same. Like, visually, it basically does its job. I would not say in the slightest it is incompetent. I like the sprites. Definitely like the animation on the character. Uh, eventually, you do... It has, it gives me a bit of a braid vibe how this wizard fellow is chasing a rather young looking, perhaps, love interest. And it, you know, being a caped, creepy crusader, it does get a little weird <laughs> to be chasing this uh, particular character. Holy crap. But overall, the visuals just do their job without being breathtaking right celeste runs laps around this video game and again it's that same thing that i said with fool's end where especially if you're a solo developer you have the art skills that you have and you know you make do and what matters is do, do the mechanics bring it and indeed i would 100 percent say this video game brings the mechanics to bear is truly uh, a different experience than uh, where puzzles platforms are concerned you see now the enormous frustration of failing the jump at the top it doesn't really come from the sheer difficulty of the jump at the top it's the fact that i am completely incapable of reaching it now and then get a breaking brain short circuit and I just cannot get back there. It is a freaking nightmare. <laughs> it's so bad. But anyway, I often go too long without meaning to. I get too deep in the weeds just playing the video game. Let's just leave it right here with this enormous frustration. And I'll just leave it as a challenge. Go uh, spend yourself the money worth a cup of coffee. Buy this video game, see if you can beat my current progress. If you feel really spicy, make a video, upload it to YouTube, to your channel. Why, why would I do that? Uh, upload it to YouTube, tell me that you have it in your channel, and I'll click on your freaking profile, and I will go check it out so I can see it. Because let me tell you, I tried. I tried to see somebody beating this video game. There is zero videos of this video. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the way you got to do it. But it's so difficult. I, my brain cannot handle it. There's zero videos of this game on YouTube, and it's a tragedy. It is a great puzzle platformer. I am genuinely impressed that this video game exists. Uh, you got to jump and then hit it. Oh, it's so... It's so hard.